Oh, look at this one. That's me and you. I got to raise it. 1,200. Why is it called predictable? So if you re-raise, then you build the pot so big, and then you're going to get bluffed out in a big pot. Oh boy, Vanessa's got pocket rockets. Uh, I'd say it's the perfect time to listen to Tony and re-raise. <laughs> Just call me. Keep the pots low. Exactly. I bet 2,000. Yeah. That's fair, you know. I, I, thought, I think it's better than betting in the dark. Tony bets in the dark and flops two pair. A dark raise, that, that's hard in commitment to the game. OM Tony G. Karma has left the building. I think we're about to see two people committed to this pot. Vanessa raises to 5,000. I want to raise it again. Tony re-raises to 20 grand. You can get it all in. Tony G sounding very confident. You ready? <laughs> Tony G is capable of this song and dance, whether he's strong or bluffing. Vanessa is going to have a hard time getting away from this one. You ready? If you win the hand, you keep me quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe you. That bluff I'll call. That bluff I'll call. Tony just added unspeakable equity to this pot. Vanessa calls. Tony's bombed the flop, which may make Vanessa think he's on a draw. An ace on the turn. Russo has top set. Hello, nasty. As Tony G would say, ace from space, and Vanessa has gone from zero to hero. Tony G does have a flush draw. 10,000. And bets 10,000. You could shut me right up. How? Well, by taking, being, being all in and winning the pot. Punch in the face. Can I just push a button? <laughs> that ace dramatically improves Vanessa's hand, but if she put Tony on spades, he just got there. She just calls. On spade watch. I check. Tony checks in the dark. The river. A sick card, the five of hearts. <laughs> now you've got to show some, some guts. <laughs> Can you bet this, or are you going to make a really weak check now on the, on the end? Go on, Vanessa, you can do it. For Vanessa, best card ever, full house over full house. All in. Cool. Ace is full. Wow, very nice. That's the best. Very nice. You got screwed? I got a full house, too, on the end. Wow. And a flush draw. See, that shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Vanessa. I got lucky, obviously. I'm gonna call. Okay, yes, great idea, Sarah. Love it, love you, I mean, I love it. She's a lip with ace deuce. Me and Mrs. Finland right now, Ooh. heads up. I believe it's Ms. Miss, I'm sorry, Miss Finland. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see a flop. So there's no Mr. Finland, okay. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. There's a four on the flop. Ronnie has bottom pair. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ronnie, if you bust her on the first hand, he bets. 30,000. And Sarah raises with a straight draw. Do you have something? Yes, I do. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. 30,000? Yeah. It's the way all my relationships start with lies. So Ronnie has called the race and improves to trips on the turn. <laughs> oh, boy. Why are you checking? <laughs> you raised me on the flop. Um, uh, num num. She bets just over half the pot. Ronnie, do not bust her before the swimsuit portion. Ronnie's clock is running. Remember, every player has 30 seconds per decision. If he thinks she's bluffing, he'll call. If not, he could raise. The shot oh, clock. Yeah, I forgot Didn't that. <laughs> <laughs> Raise, 155. 155. She really should not be calling this. 255. She re-raises. What? <laughs> <laughs> really, huh? 255,000. Yes. <laughs> Ronnie calls, which means we're going to the river, and that means the cage is coming into play. Hey, what was her special talent in the Miss Finland contest? Was it punting poker chips? The board bricks out for Sarah. She has just ace high. Ronnie, she's a little better looking than you. We're kind of rooting for her. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Check. She's bluffed every street so far. All in. 
and she shoves. Oh. Okay, please uh, slide which your card is. She slides out the bluff card. <laughs> oh, oh my God! How is this happening? I thought it would be. I wanted to stay and play with you, Miss Finland. I understand. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Ten seconds, Ronnie. Wow, I like that. He's playing a time bank chip. He gets an extra 30 seconds. He has a reason why it's the Finnish reputation, right? I have a four. He shows her his hand. Do you have five four or something? Sick, sick bluff, kid. I don't think you can just raise a queen. I don't have a good kick. I can show both guys, right? Absolutely. Slight flutter from Sarah, but what does it mean? Oh, gee. Ronnie must think she has it. He's considering folding this monster. And if he does, he's going in the cage. He's requested more time. You know, I have trips. I don't know if I can fold his hand. I don't know how you play. I've never played with you before. <laughs> what is going on here? If I fold his hand and, and they see this fold and you have like king queen or something, it's gonna be the most embarrassing thing ever for me. You understand this, right? Okay. I, don't, I don't have any time to think over his hand. I'm like nervous. I don't know what's going on. It's nice over there. 300, 500. Oh my God, no, 600. Five seconds. And Ronnie's folded. Holy shnikes. It's a bluff. Show. She has ace high. Ronnie, you're going to the cage. <laughs> oh. He cannot believe it. I'm really scared. Oh, my God. Oh, what? <laughs> is this real life? <laughs> this just, no, no, did this happen to me? Jack seven of diamonds. Vanessa may be steaming a bit after that last hand. Looks like she's getting right back on the horse. Raises to 1,300 as Fondiari quickly out. Spirit rockets for Prahlad Friedman. By the way, when I start calling Prahlad parlay in front of you guys, it's because I've been doing it for five years. He parlayed 50 bucks into 50,000 one weekend. And then that 50,000 is now what? Seven, I don't know, 40 million 7. or something? 7.2 million or something? But I was like, what's, what's it like to have 7.2 million? I would not know. It's gotta be more than 7.2. Right, it's more than 7.2. Prahlad's very likely to be adding to that 7.2 now. Vanessa's starting to look a little defiant. Two of the greatest poker minds. I know, I like watching this right? stuff and I not being in the hand. Spirit and Vanessa battles. Antonio may be driving the action a bit with his mouth. Vanessa knows her own reputation, so she knows Prahlad could be three-betting her light, thinking she's raising light, which she is. And if that's the case, she could get into some real trouble here. Four bet to 13,200 with the jack high. So typically, a Vanessa Selps four bet is going to start to get some credibility, which means if Prahlad thinks she's got some kind of hand, he'll easily put in a fifth bet. Another thing to consider, if Prahlad wants to continue to have Vanessa think he's bluffing, he's more likely to raise again than he is to just call. It is five bets to 35,000. Is it 30? 35. All right, well, this looks like a pretty easy fold for Vanessa. But she hasn't dumped her cards yet. Joe, what in the world could she be thinking about here? Well, she might be a little steamy from that last hand still, and is probably leveling herself with thoughts that Prahlad is just messing with her. Now it looks like she wants to see how many chips Prahlad has left. If she levels herself into thinking Prahlad is messing with her, this is going to be a disaster. She should be folding any second now. But she puts in six bets with Jack High. The oh boy. 1062. $106,200 is now the bet. This is an absolute punt. Let's count the hang time. Right, I'm all in. Prahlad is all in. It is a mistake, I call. Vanessa calls. Okay. Aces for Prahlad. No, no, no. He's got aces. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll bet she's How got aces. How many do you want to run it? He has aces. It's like 100%. Of course. She has ace, king, or kings? Nope, I have nothing. Uh, twice? Whatever you want. Let's do three times. Sure. Nice time. She has live cards. Oh, boy. How much do you have? Uh... One, He's got you covered, 60, I think. 60, So they're going to run it three times. Almost spoke to win. Couldn't do it. How many times do you guys say you're running? Three. Three times. Nice, sir. I'm going to leave if I don't. I think I speak for Vanessa when I say, 
Even worse, some of Vanessa's outs have been folded, so she's a bigger dog than she thinks. First to three runs coming up. Winner will get a third of the pot. King 4 5. That's not good. She'll need runner, runner. Six, 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 six of them. Six, 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 six of diamonds. Don't waste it. Six of diamonds would be. Would that be the best card? Six yeah, of probably. diamonds would give her straight and flush draws. God. To the turn. Nine of hearts. All right. Put a deuce of clubs. Oh, ace of clubs is good. I think Prahlad knows the time for speeches is over. River, 10 of hearts, and Prahlad has locked up a third of the pot worth over 113K. I'm such a Why do I do this to myself? Every time. Not every time. I usually don't do this to myself anymore. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing. I'm just, you know. Pretty sure he was laughing. Here comes the second of three runs. Eight king, five, two diamonds, flush draw for Vanessa. It's already a diamond over there. <laughs> there it is. That's the spirit. Show the other diamonds. That you, yeah, how six hard of diamonds would definitely be more useful here than it was in the last one. Vanessa only needs one more diamond. Turn five of hearts. Wow. Prowlout is strong. How did he dodge it there? Missing the flush draw would be devastating. She's not likely to flop this good again. To the river. No diamond, three of clubs. What a brick. Brick ball. Super brick. Bricktastic. So Prahlad is two thirds of the way to scooping the biggest pot ever won on the big game. What an absolute gift from Vanessa. No Jackson sevens. Run number three. Four, six, king, three more bricks. This is getting hard to watch. Not even a sweat. Vanessa's dead to two pair trips or a straight, all of them runner, runner or else Prahlad's gonna need a wheelbarrow to bring all his money home. To the turn. Deuce of spades. Nice hand. And Prahlad's gonna win a pot worth over $340,000. Wow, Prahlad did it, that's sick. Why not win one of them? Action folds around to Doyle Brunson. Suited connectors, raises to 2,800. Doyle all of a sudden coming to life, maybe trying to get a little hot streak going. Phil Locke folds. Haven't heard much from Tony G so far. I call. Makes the call. Tony G's had good luck with that hand in this game. On Monday night, he flopped trip jacks and raked in almost 200,000. Ace nine off suit for the newly reformed Phil Helmuth. Phil thinking about making a move here. I raised the pot. A raise to 12,600. The loose cannon. Six, right? Ooh, pair of cowboys. If there's ever a time to re-raise, this is it. 12-6. Yep. Call. But just a call. We have some cannon action over here. Ernest just called 12,000 cold. Should be sending smoke signals into the sky. Wow, started something. He may be trying to set a trap by just calling, but by not re-raising, Ernest giving Doyle and Tony both better odds to call behind him. Well, you can see Doyle's stack. Just 50 grand right now. He's looking at 20% of his stack to call. I know Tony's going to call it, so I might as well too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love these big pots. It's a very loose call from Doyle. Tony calls. Wow, what a sick hand this is. <laughs> Four ways. I'm not going to any my next pot, so it's like a free roll for me. It's the danger of smooth calling with Kings. Ernest has let three other players into this pot. The flop 9-10-9, trip nines for Helmuth. Phil has flopped the Helmuth okay. out of it. Our loose cannon, Ernest, is in big trouble if he can't get away from this. And honestly, Chris, I don't see how he'll be able to. Tony G has checked on over to Phil Helmuth. That flop looks like you, doesn't it? No, Phil, I look like me. <laughs> Ernest, very confident. 17,000. Phil bets 17,000. If you look like me, why you bet so much? Ernest is actually asking the right question, but isn't looking for an answer. Wow. All I can see are those two kings. Thirty-six thousand. I love you, Ernest. I try to gamble on this king. Doyle folds. I was gonna rise. I was gonna rise. I'm so sick. Tony G's out. <laughs> wow. This is almost certainly disaster for our loose cannon. What are you going to do if I move in? Are you going to call? Phil, of course I have no choice but to, my brother. 
You got aces <coughs> or kings or something or what? Man, if I had aces or kings, man, I'd be the man right now, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> You're the this best. is why this show's so fun. You're the best. Boy, oh boy, I don't think I have a choice here. This is so sick. All right, I guess I'm all in. I call. Kings. I got three nines. You lie, I'd be kidding me. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. What were you slow rolling him for? Here, man. Maybe a 10 slow. Oh, I mean, he, he just, he was so happy. That was so unreal. That was torture. I didn't mean to slow roll. Sick. Hold on, how, how many times do you want to deal it? Oh, hey, thanks for asking me. Three um, times? Yeah, that's, huh? Three times? Yeah, run it three. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three yeah, times. that'll work. You might win one of those three. T, where is mine? Wow, and you straddled and everything. That was perfect. You made it so much before the flop with ace nine. Our loose cannon has one foot out the door. Yeah. You want to deal it four times? When you ask him, you're going to call if I go all in, and he said yes, what percentage of you didn't believe that he was given the straight dope there with that little bit left? Wasn't it what like a little a bit left? He had 50 left. Like that's one of the worst, that slow, one of the worst slow rolls I've seen in slow roll. roll. No, that's not. When a you know roll. he's gonna call because he says it. You know, and Phil Locke, why don't you why don't you just stay out of uh, why don't you stay out of it? Because I'm right because, here. I, because I because bad. you are you've been so far out of line to okay. me, and every time we've played, and I'm just sick of it. So why don't you just you mind your business? Twelve thousand six hundred. But he's right. Nine. It was a pretty sick slow roll. I'm sorry, because I haven't done anything like that in my whole life. Were you folding? I can't get away from this. The whole speech. The guy's already in. He's already got eighty percent. Doyle, you're the. He had fifty thousand more. Did he have fifty thousand more? You want? I'll bet he had at least forty thousand more. He put in thirty-six thousand. I'll bet he had forty more before you count and look. Seventy-four, seventy-four, three hundred. How can he ever have that beat? You want to deal it four times or what? Four times. Yeah. It gives you a better chance hey, to win. Yeah, sure do. Cool. Run him out, baby. All right, four times. Mm, mm, mm. Four times, need two kings. Wow, that's about a 50. Spade, 50. spade, clean jack. Hey, run a jack. Spade, spade. Hey, run a, yeah. run a runner. So we'll see the turn in river four times with each pot worth a shade under 50 grand. Run number one, a jack of hearts. Queen, yeah, queen, queen king. king. The river, an ace of diamonds, round one goes to Helmuth. Phil Helmuth has filled up and made a full house. He's locked up at least 25% of this pot. Run two. The turn, a king. There we go, yeah. full house. That's what I'm talking about, you baby. Get me down. If you're in it twice, you Get got money back. Yeah. Oh, damn, I said four times, though. Damn, yeah. didn't I? Holy yeah. snap. I got to stand back up now. I thought it was only twice. Come on. The <laughs> river's a three. 15% dog. <laughs> Ernest has won the second on, pot. So that's cool. I'm feeling good right now. Well, you're still alive. You're still alive. No, that's all right. Our loose cannon yeah, will stick around. Money, Round three. A spade seven now. of spades. <laughs> Everybody's rooting for a spade. Everybody you can now hit a king or a spade to win this run. The river. It is a spade. God damn it. spade. Hey, up to one. That's a loose cannon. He's up two to one. Why did you go for four times? You went for. Hey, man, I'm just thinking of more house, man. It was almost. <laughs> oh, this is like slow roll. One more time. One more time. Put a king ball out there. <laughs> Ernest this Wiggins has now crazy, won yeah. half the this pot. Is, this is the thing right here. This is it right here, man. This is like the big action right here. Right? Helmut loves it. Yeah, I really like What's... it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one more. King, king. The final run. Ernest's odds continue to get worse and worse, but Phil looks sick anyway. A queen on the jack, turn. Jack, there's a jack. King. You want a jack, jack. that jack, would be king. Fair. King or a jack, one time. There's, there's what, three jacks left? Right now. The final river card. It's a king! king. Oh, that's <laughs> real! He had three out of four! He had three out of four! That's With the worst hand! <laughs> Why is everyone so happy except Phil? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? Oh, yeah. If you do it once, you lose the whole lot. And every time you did it an extra time, you won a higher percentage of the pot. If you did it twice, 50%. Phil deserved that. Doing that with Ice Nine? Tony, can you, can you, can you please shut up? The bike's coming. Why? He's having fun. I mean, come on, man. You, well, you just want to rub salt in my wound every time. Show some class. Show some class. But the hand. 
You're, you're a professional. You don't mean to play like that. Gomez with aces. Alex and Ben, you're gonna go heads up to this. Eight hundred fifty thousand out there. Oh Jack my Jack. goodness! Quads bad. on the flop. Don't ever run bad. Strange. Last time Gomez had aces it was against Kevin Saul, and three sixes came on board. He won a big pot. This time, three of a kind is gonna come on board, and he's destined to lose a lot of chips right here. And now the question is, how is Spindler gonna play it? One point three. He well, is raising, wasting no time. 50, you know, this is an interesting play here from Spindler. He's got four of a kind, and you know, popular wisdom would say you should just call and slow play it. But what he's hoping for here is that his raise looks like a bluff, and that Gomez does have a hand like aces kings or something along those lines, and is going to you know play for it all. Cool. He's call. just going to call now. You know, the Alex funny calls. thing about this is Gomez actually thinks he's trapping him. Right. He's, he thinks he's slow playing his hand. He's here. doing. He's trying to trap him as he thought he tra and as he did against Kevin Saul earlier in this tournament. Now Benny Spindler asking for a chip count. Three hundred fifty thousand apiece. Six. Let's see the turn card. Now like Benny can't meant. really care how turn much Gomez has. Here. It's, it's just trying to like Jack, Jack, show Jack, weakness, five, if you will. It's a little bit of a Alex sort of Hollywood first. move. Gomez He's is checking, checks. and that's poker on a higher level, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Now Gomez is really checking in the hopes that Spindler, you know, is going to bluff at it. As we know, he's not bluffing. He's got four of a kind, and Spindler is really taking aggressive. Approach to this hand to try to get as million. many chips in as possible. A big bet once again of two million. Pot up to five and a half million now. Well, this is the opportunity now for either Gomez to be an absolute genius and make the most remarkable laydown we may have ever seen. Don't bet on that. <laughs> or he might just decide, all right, now's the time. Let's get all those chips in the middle. Just an amazing. Ooh. Oh, and he does. He's moving it all in. Of course, Spindler. Well, he's calling. He's got four of a kind. Gomez oh, is yeah. ah, completely dead. River card is totally irrelevant. Spindler wins a monster pot, eliminating Gomez. He's up over 16 million in chips now. Flopping quads at a final table must be nice.